solve a problem on how we can find out the transfer function of a system using the mode plot. So let's take a problem. So this is the board plot of this uh, system, of a system, and we have to find out the transfer function of this system using this board plot. So let's solve this problem. Now, if you can see that this board plot, it is starting from the point which is having the magnitude as plus. 20 dBs. This y-axis it is showing the magnitude in dBs and y-axis is showing the frequency in radians per second. And this plot at this frequency its magnitude is plus 20 dBs. So first we will calculate the gain of the system that is the value of k in the transfer function. So our first point is the calculation of k. How we can calculate K? If we see that in the board plot, this point, it is equal to the magnitude 20 log K. K is the gain. So we have 20 log K. And here its value is 20 dBs. So we will equate this to 20. So log K, it will be equal to 1. So K will be equals to 10. So in this way, we can calculate the gain K or the constant factor K present in the transfer function. Okay. So this was our first point. Now second, second part we have that this first line, it is, it is having the slope as minus 20 dBs per decade. And it is passing through this point omega equals to 1 and starting from this point, 20 dBs. So this represents an integral factor. This because only integral factors they pass through this point, this frequency omega equals to 1. So this line is representing an integral factor which is present in the transfer function. So first line has slope minus 20 db per decade starts from 20 dbs and passes through omega equals to 1. It means that it is an integral factor indicating it Indicating the factor is an integral factor. Now, integral factor is what? 1 by S. Okay. Now, here it is starting from the point 20 dBs. So, and this value of K we have obtained as 10. Okay. So, this integral factor will be 10 by S. Okay. So this was our second thing.
Now we have here the corner frequencies. Corner frequencies are the frequency at which the slope of the magnitude plot is changing. So here slope is changing at omega equals to 10 and at omega equals to 100. So corner frequencies are and 100. So there are two more factors because we have two corner frequencies so there are two more factors due to this and this. So we have at omega equals to 10. Check the slope. The slope was minus 20 dB before omega equals to 10 and after omega equals to 10 it has become minus 40 dB per decade. So slope due to this factor will be minus 20 dB because minus 20 minus 20 dB then it has become minus 40 dB per decade. So the slope uh, due to this factor at the corner frequency omega equals to 10 will be minus 20 dB per decade. So it indicates this slope is negative sign. So it indicates that the factor is present in the denominator part. Negative slope indicates that factor is present in denominator. And as it is having minus 20 and it is having corner frequency also, so this will be a first order factor. Because slope is minus 20. If it is having minus 40, then it will be a second order factor. But here we are having minus 20, so it is a first order factor. Negative slope means it is present in the denominator. And corner frequency is 10. So the factor is 1 upon S by 10 plus 1. Because we know that corner frequency omega, it is what? 1 upon T. So if omega is 10, then T is what? 1 by 10. And we can write the factor in the form 1 plus ST. So it will be 1 plus S by 10. 1 upon 1 plus S by 10 is the factor because it is present in the denominator. So we will write in, in the denominator of the transfer function. Now fourth we have after omega equals to 100. The slope has become minus 20 dB per decade. Earlier it was minus 40. Now it has become minus 20. It means that minus 40 plus 20, it will become minus 20. So this plus 20 slope has been added at this corner frequency omega equals to 100. So the slope will be plus 20 dB per decade at omega equals to 100. Slope changes plus 20 dBs per decade. Now plus 20 means we have positive slope. And positive slope indicates that the factor is present in the numerator. Slope is 20 here, so it will be a first order factor. Okay, and corner frequency is omega equals to 100. So if we put omega equals to 1 by t, it is 100 equals to 1 by t, so t will be 1 by 100. So we will put this as 1 plus st, so it will be 1 upon s by. 100. So this is our factor and it is present in the numerator. Okay. So we have completed this board plot. Okay. Now we will combine all these terms. First we have this 10 the constant term. Then we have the first order factor, integral factors and this factor present in the numerator. So we will have the open loop transfer function as
we have the constant term as 10 k is equals to 10 then we have this factor is present in the numerator so we will have 1 plus s by 100 then we have the integral factor 10 by s so here we have s and then we have the first order factor in the denominator as 1 plus s by 10 so this is our open loop transfer function if we simplify this it will become gshs equals to s plus 100 upon s plus 10 so this is our resultant transfer function so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you